Ladies and gentlemen, the Android beta updates continue to churn out today. We have Android 15 beta number two, and here in a moment, I'm going to show you some of the big changes with this beta, but the first thing I want to let you know is that it is now actually available on other devices besides just Pixel devices. As you can see here, there are quite a few brands, and yes, indeed, if we jump to the OnePlus Open Community Forum, I guess it's the OnePlus Community Forum, but you know what I mean, it is a thing on the OnePlus Open as well. I'll drop a link to this down below. You can see kind of how to go about doing this. I wouldn't recommend doing this if you are daily driving any of these devices, even if you have a device that's compatible with this beta. Don't don't daily drive a beta unless you know what you're getting yourself into. But it's there, it's available. With that being said, let's grab my Pixel 8 Pro and I'll show you what's new in Android 15 beta number two. All right, so we have my two favorite bird watching applications opened up here in split screen. And guys, if you swipe up and hold, you see them side by side here. If I press on this, what do you see here? Save app pair. Finally, finally, finally. Let's close all these. That feature has arrived in this version of Android. It's going to launch both applications at the same time. You guys probably know for a long time now, we've been using an application called Be Nice to create our own shortcuts. But you can see Google has finally implemented their own version of that. I wish I had a Pixel Fold here to demo it on, but I don't at the moment. But you can imagine that's what it's going to look like, except it's going to be side by side on the larger screen. Great new addition. If we jump into security and privacy in the settings, you can see an option here called private space. And this has the ability to keep applications safe and hidden. Hide or lock private apps in a secret space. Use dedicated Google account for extra security. So let's go ahead and set this up if you've been using a Samsung device for a while. It's basically the exact same thing that they have had for a little while. So once this is set up, if you scroll all the way down, there's an option here that says private. And if we select it, we'll use face unlock to confirm. And what you can now do is you can install applications through the Play Store that will be only in that private space. Of course, you'll need to sign into an account. It's basically acting like its own little partitioned area. I think that this is potentially pretty cool. And you can also see you can have private photos as well. Contacts, files, camera. Definitely an interesting feature. Oh, one other thing that I totally missed is this redesign to the expanded volume panel. This is the new one here on my Pixel 8 Pro. This is what it used to look like. That, I think, is a big improvement really fits in with the material you design a whole lot better, I think. Let's take a look at the official web page for these. We can kind of go over a couple more that you can't really demo very well, but I can at least explain to you. So under picture and picture, basically what they're saying is it should be a smoother animation. Okay, I actually tried to film this, but I couldn't really tell much of a difference. Maybe there are specific instances. You can see here where things might be a little bit funky. That should be improved now. This is a pretty cool one. Richer widget previews with generated previews. Richer widget previews. That's a difficult one to say. Make your widgets stand out by showing a personalized view. Apps targeting Android 15 can provide remote views to the widget picker. So instead of just having like a generic contact, it can actually try and create something that's going to be more akin to what it's actually going to look like when the user installs it. The predictive back gesture is now enabled by default. It provides a smoother, more intuitive navigation experience while using gesture navigation, leveraging built-in animations to inform user where their actions will take them to reduce unexpected outcomes. It's something I've actually shown you on this channel. You could turn it on in the developer options for quite a while, but now it is actually here. And you can see this little animation playing to kind of let you know what I'm talking about. So they're going into Chrome, and as they go back, you can see that that application is shrinking down, and it kind of lets them know that they're going home. When they go back one more time, there's nowhere else to go back, so it's going to take them home, and you can kind of see that more clearly now. As you can see currently, if you were to swipe back and it's going to take you home, there's nothing that tells you that's about to happen. 
A couple more that might be worth mentioning, set vibration effect for notification channels. So this is another thing that developers are going to be able to use, basically having their application do something so that users can distinguish, as it says here, between different types of notifications without having to look at their device. New data types in Health Connect. This is an application that should be built in now that is basically grabbing your health data from different applications like Fitbit or whatever, any hip fitness application, Mob Boy Health can actually hook into this and it's going to allow basically your health and fitness data to be aggregated into a sort of one-stop shop so that you're not having to look at three or four different health and fitness applications. And they've added a couple of more data types for Health Connect. You can see here, where did it go? Uh, skin temperature and training plans are now syncable inside Health Connect. Now, there are a handful more in the changelog, but nothing too crazy. What I'll do is I'll just link to that changelog in the description down below so that you can go through them. A lot of the other ones are going to be more developer-facing. I think that what I've shown you are the biggest ones. Of course, the big one being app pairs, finally, 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 being a thing that we have access to, at least in this beta, which means it will be there for our you know, stable channel devices relatively soon. If you're already in the beta, this update should be live and installed on my Pixel 8 Pro uh, relatively quickly. It was there whenever I checked for it. So you can go check it out yourself. If you're not in the beta channel and you think this is something you want to look at, I would advise you to not get into the beta channel, especially if it is your primary device. Betas are not meant to be daily driven and they will have, of course, bugs. But at any rate, guys, those are the biggest new features in Android 15 beta number two. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.